Welcome to the channel. In this tutorial, we will see how we can write a Python program to check the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number. Now here, first we will see what exactly is a prime number and what exactly is a composite number. A prime number is a natural number greater than one which has exactly two factors and they are one and the number itself. In other words, we can say that a prime number is a natural number greater than one which is completely divisible by exactly two numbers and they are one and the number itself. For example, if you look at the number three, then this number three is greater than one. It is a natural number. You know, it is a complete number. It doesn't have any decimal places. And if you look at the factors, then they are one and three factors are nothing but the numbers which will divide this number completely that is you know if we have this number three then the numbers which will divide this number with the remainder zero are called as the factors and here the factors of this number three are one and three so since this number three is a natural number greater than one and it has exactly two factors and they are one and the number itself we can say that this number three is a prime number. Similarly, we can check for the numbers two, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and like that. Now, what exactly is a composite number? A composite number is a natural number greater than one, which has more than two factors. In other words, a composite number is a natural number greater than one, which is completely divisible by more than two numbers. Or we can also say that a composite number is a natural number greater than one, which is not a prime number. You know, if it is not a prime number, it means that it has more than two factors. So it is a composite number. For example, if you look at the number four, then this number four is greater than one. It is a natural number and the factors are one, two and four. Since this number four has more than two factors, we can say that it is a composite number. Now, one thing that we have to remember in this uh, video is um, to say whether the number is a uh, prime or composite, the user needs to enter a number greater than one. And if the user is gonna enter one, then here, if you look at the factors for this number one, then it is only one. So this number one is not a prime number because to be a prime number, a natural number has to have exactly two factors. In this case, we have only one and it is not a composite number because to be a composite number, a natural number has to have more than two factors. Here we have only one. So if the user is gonna enter one, then we will say it is neither prime nor composite. If the user is gonna enter a number less than one, then we will say you need to enter a number greater than one. If the user is gonna enter a number uh, greater than one, then we will find out whether it is prime or composite and we will display the message. So here in this program, what we're gonna do is, first we will ask the user to enter a number. So I'm gonna use the input function and here I'm gonna specify the message as enter a natural number. By seeing this message, user is gonna enter a number and this input function will return that number in string form and we will convert that to integer form by wrapping it around the int function. And after that, we will store that in a variable and I'm gonna call it as number. Now we have the number that the user has entered. We can check whether user has entered zero or a negative number, whether the user has entered one or he has entered a number greater than one. So we will use the if conditional statement. And the first condition that we check is whether the user has entered negative number or zero. So the condition here will be number containing a value less than one. In this case, we will display a message stating that a uh, user needs to enter a number greater than one. And then we will have the LF. And here we will check whether the user has entered the number one. So the condition will be number containing a value, which is equal to one. If it is true, then we will display the number one is neither prime nor composite. 
so we will display the value present in this number variable which will be one in this case and then we will say is neither prime nor composite and then we will have the else part and if we come to the else part then it means that the number entered by the user is greater than one so in this case we have to check whether the number entered by the user has more than two factors if it is so then it means that the number is a composite number if the number entered by the user has exactly two factors then it means that the number is a prime number so here we have to find the factors for the number entered by the user now let us say the user is going to enter the number 10 now what we have to do is we have to find the factors of this number 10 and to do that what we have to do is we have to start dividing this number starting from 1 up to 10 because for the number 10 the numbers from 1 to 10 can be the factors so what we do is we take the number 1 we divide 10 by using that and we check the remainder value if we get the remainder 0 then it means that the number 1 is a factor then we go to the next number and we do the same thing so if we get the remainder 0 then it means that 2 is the factor then we go to the uh, next number next number next number like that now here in this example we already know that if the user is going to enter the number 10 then 1 and the number itself they are the factors of this number 10 so since we already know this we don't have to check for them so we can skip checking one and the number itself okay and also we already know that the numbers greater than 10 i know can't be the factors of this number 10 because they can't divide the number completely so we don't have to check for the numbers 11 12 etc now here the possible range of numbers which can be the factors are from 2 to 9 and here also we can say that the numbers 6 7 and 8 and 9 they can't be the factors of this number 10 because by looking at this we can say that number 6 7 8 and 9 can't divide the number 10 completely so they can't be the factors so in this example the possible range of numbers that can be the factors for this number 10 are from 2 to 5 so this end value 5 is actually half of this number 10 so 10 divided by 2 is 5 so now if we assume that the number entered by the user is number then the numbers which can be the factors of this number are from 2 to number divided by 2 and also we know that 1 and the number itself they are already the factors so we are not going to check for them now in this program how we can construct the logic is we know that number 1 and whatever the number that the user is going to enter these two numbers are the factors of this number so we start checking for other factors from 2 up to number divided by 2 in this process if we find any number as the factor of the number entered by the user then it means that the number entered by the user has more than two factors and it is not a prime number it is a composite number and in this process of finding the factors if we don't find any factors in this range of two to number divided by two then we can say that the number entered by the user is a prime number because it has exactly two factors so now uh, what we have to do is we have to start finding the factors from 2 to number divided by 2 so we will use a for loop and I'm gonna call this variable as divisor and it will be in a range and this range will start from 2 and it will run up to number divided by 2 and here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna perform integer division we will talk about that in a moment and after that after performing this um, uh, integer division we will add plus one for the end value of this range and after that you know i can print the uh, numbers that we get for the divisor so now here the range will start from two and it will run up to number divided by two plus one 
this plus one is for compensating the working of this range function because with the range function the end value is not inclusive it is excluded so we have to add plus one to make sure that it will work for our need um, just to show you guys the difference i'm gonna remove this uh, plus one i'm gonna save the program i'm gonna run this and i'm gonna say 10 now you guys can see the for loop has run for the numbers 2 3 4 and that's it actually we wanted to run the for loop for 2 3 4 and 5 this 5 is not included here that's because with the working of this range function the end value is not inclusive so to get to 5 we will add plus 1 here now if i save this program and if i run this code and if i enter 10 here now you guys can see it will run from 2 to 5 now one more thing uh, why we are doing the integer division here is uh, let us say the user is going to enter the number 11 or any odd number in that case um, let us say we can run it and i'm going to say 11 now you guys can see the for loop will run for 2 3 4 5 now what happens here is the number entered by the user is 11 11 divided by 2 which will be 5.5 and here we are doing the integer division and because of that that decimal place will be ignored and it will consider only 5 and the range up to 5 is enough for the number 11 because the number 6 can't be the factor of this number 11 so you know we can stop at 5 now the next thing that we have to do in this for loop is we have to check the value present in this divisor variable in every iteration of this for loop is a factor of the number entered by the user and we can check that by using the if condition and the condition here will be when we perform number modulus operator divisor uh, variables value which is nothing but when we divide the value present in the number variable by the value present in the divisor variable the reminder value that we get whether it is zero if it is zero then it means that the number entered by the user is completely divisible by the value present in this divisor variable or the value present in this divisor variable is a factor of the number entered by the user so if it is true then what it means is the number entered by the user has a factor other than one and the number itself it means it is not a prime number and it also means that the number is a composite number so what we do is we will use the print function and we will display uh, number is a composite number so we will display the value present in this number variable and then we will say is a composite number and after that once we know that number is prime or composite we don't have to check for next numbers so we can stop this for loop by using the break statement now after that for this for loop we will have the else block we come to this else block of this for loop only when this for loop is terminated without encountering the break statement here in this case in this example if we complete this for loop without encountering this break statement it means that this condition was false for every iteration of this for loop it means that we have not found any factors for the number entered by the user so the number entered by the user has exactly two factors and they are one and the number itself so the number entered by the user is a prime number so we will use this uh, print statement i'm going to copy that and i'm going to paste it in here and i'm going to change this message to prime number so now we have uh, written the program in here let's run this i'm going to enter zero it will say number needs to be greater than one and this time i'm going to enter one it will say one is neither prime nor composite and this time i'm going to enter five it will say five is a prime number i'm going to run it one more time and this time i'm going to enter 10 and it will say 10 is a composite number 
so this is it guys for this video you know this is how we can write a simple python program to check whether the number entered by the user is a prime number or a composite number if you like this video then hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video